Hey what's up guys, it's Eclipse here and today we are starting a brand new series on the channel and that is going to be playing a new game called Lego Brawl. So just about a month ago, Lego flew me and a bunch of other YouTubers out to the Lego headquarters in Denmark. They gave us a private tour of all of their Lego facilities. We got to see how they make the Legos. They showed us their vault which has every single Lego ever and most importantly, they showed us their brand new game Lego Brawls. So this series is going to be be sponsored by Lego so huge shout out to them for not only sponsoring this series but actually flying all of us out to Denmark and giving us that exclusive tour everything was awesome I got to meet a bunch of people and I'm really excited to finally share this game with you guys to download it I will have the link at the top of my description below so if you're interested please check that out it'll be the very first link in the past I've played Lego Brawl on my iPad but I was having some technical difficulties with recording Recording, so I just downloaded it on my phone so this is gonna be my first time playing it on my iPhone but I do have a lot of experience on this game already so it's kind of a good thing my iPad was failing because I get to show you what happens when you first boot up this game and how everything gets started so here is Lego Brawl this is my character and my account actually uh, switched over so I don't get to show you the opening like tutorial menu but here's your character and what's awesome is you can actually customize your character with a bunch of already made Lego pieces so everything in this game is part of a Lego set and unfortunately I do have to unlock a bunch of stuff but for like my hat for example I have a few of these hairstyles unlocked for this video let's just go with the afro um for the head I have a few unique faces so we can go like clown we can go luchador wrestler or some cave woman vibes I think we should go with the kitty cat though um we can change our weapons so in my hand I have two fish but I also have this club unlocked as well I thought the fish was funny so uh, for this video we will keep up the fish but there's a bunch of other weapons as well so when we hop into a game you'll get to see these but there's going to be power-ups as we play so we start off with our fish these are always going to be in our hand but there's going to be like a gun power up and when I pick that up I'll have the pie cannon there's going to be another power up that gives me a flying hot dog stand and then the third power up on the map is going to give me a rocket fist so obviously by playing the game more and more you get to unlock all of these upgrades and the same thing goes for your character the more you play the more cool stuff you can unlock for them so right now I'm just rocking a clown afro with a cat face holding two fish and you know what oh we can throw a tail on yeah screw the cape we're gonna go with the tail so this is our character to start off today's video and if you want to get some practice in there is a little training arena so I'll just go over the basics in here before we hop into a real game so you kind of just run around as you can see you have your main fish attack which is on the right now this is gonna be our first power up right here when I just walk into this and hit it as you can see I have a gun on the right so here's my little pew pew blaster I can shoot all of the guys and this game has pretty easy combat like if I swipe down I go through the four if I swipe up I jump up if I swipe forward I'll do a little bit of a dash and you can kind of combine movements like swipe and jump to do like even faster stuff so this is my fist right here you kind of just get to drive that around and crash into enemies and let's try to find our hot dog stand power up so again I can jump dash rinse and repeat here's an elevator and all the mechanics you're seeing here are what takes place in the real games and in the real games there won't be bots like this it's all going to be team based game mode so one team versus another with the same end goal in mind and then this right here uh it's the gun again where is our hot dog stand oh this is the hot dog stand so this is another awesome one so when you hit this you can actually just shoot hot dogs at people and crap okay I kind of got rid of the hot dog stand but here's the cactus which is actually one of the best power-ups in the game whenever you hit somebody it just absolutely melts them so those are all of the basics for now and if you want to just end this pretty quickly you can go in the lava and that's just gonna eliminate yourself the second mode in here is called party this is more if you want to play with your friends the cool thing about Lego Brawl is like if you have an Apple TV you can mirror this to the TV and it'll showcase all of the games so let's say it's like you your brother maybe your mom and dad play too let's just say there's like four of you on the same Wi-Fi device if you were to mirror this to your TV using Apple TV it would kind of pan out and show all four of the characters at once which is really awesome but since I don't have any friends uh, we're just gonna play the brawl game mode this should queue us up against random players and I'm ready to try hard and get some wins oh here's everyone so here's team Queen that is the other team so we're just gonna call this purple team and here's my team blue team the classic King so these are all of my teammates and these are real players 
players. I don't think they have any bots in this game. So the main goal here is you have to get to the flag. You see there's a flag on the left and you pretty much have to hold down the flag for the longest and whichever team holds it down to the end of the game is gonna win. So here is the flag. Oh wait, the flag's not here yet. The flag is right here. Boom. So blue team currently has the flag occupied and you can see there's a bar on the left side. So there's the blue bar going up and as long as there's more blue people than purple on here, this bar is going to continue moving. Now if purple takes over the point, then the purple bar is going to continue moving and the first team to get their bar up to 100% is going to be the winner. So it's pretty simple rules and as I said, it's team based game mode and there's no bots or anything like that. So I have this hot dog stand, uh, so I have the hot dog stand here, a bit of stuttering and that dude threw a little dance bomb at me, oh my god. Um, I just need to stay alive. I'm going to run away real quick, my health is pretty low. That bar above me is how much health I have and you can pick up some health from breaking these I believe uh, I'm just gonna break a few more come on okay so I have my all my weapons for right now blue team is dominating and unfortunately the fantastic brawler eliminated me so let's respawn I'm gonna head back up there I still have all my power-ups that I had from when I was eliminated and I'm gonna use the fist and try to clear out this point so here's the fist power up again I can oh I just totally wasted it okay that was a, a huge fail that's a break this there's a few purple people around me i got the cactus as i said this is one of the best power-ups in the game it kind of looks like a big pickle where's purple team at get out of here oh i just totally eliminated that person so we're holding this down we should get the win pretty easy when i see a purple person next i will pull up the hot dog stand but i don't know i don't think they're gonna even stand a chance here i have 12 shots available here Okay, oh, oh, that person has something. Get him out of here. I am going to get eliminated soon. I need to get off that point to heal up. So I do have the little, the gun there. Let's break both these boxes. So I have the hot dog stand. And okay, I think that's all for now. Let's get our hot dog stand out. I'm going to continue shooting that. It's just the blue team on here. I don't even know where the purple team's at. Maybe they don't quite know the game rules. Maybe they're brand new to the game. But that's our first win right there. Pretty easy if I have to admit. So there we go. That is the first victory. It was pretty enjoyable. I didn't get eliminated too much. So I had fun. And I think it picks someone as an MVP, maybe? Oh, yeah, it does pick a top brawler. So Cool Knight is the top brawler. And there's two things I would like to say once we get back to the main menu that I personally think are pretty unique. So first off, we got a new person, like a little bunny. That's cool. And I think we got a new weapon with that. Yeah, a carrot stick. So we'll select that. Now, the way your character gets named is by what you have selected. So right now, I am the Extraordinary Chef. If you hit this button at the bottom, it'll just keep on giving you random names. So like the Ridiculous Cottontail, the Amazing Cook, the Marvelous Cook. And I believe it gives you names based on what you have selected. And one thing I do want to mention as well is if you come to your weapon, at the very bottom, there's an emote. This is what's going to showcase whenever you eliminate someone and when your team wins the game. So I don't have too many others unlocked right now. Now, but there's a whole bunch of cool emotes that you can pick and show off so I just have the clapping the very basic one so hopefully I can unlock something new and kind of show off a bit let's hop into another game of brawl though I'm ready to win hopefully I get uh, some more competition that last game the purple team was slack and I'm not gonna lie the blue team had our stuff together so we have team queen there I am the purple team this time you can see my bunny ears and we are against the classic kings again and remember these are all real people I don't think there's AIs in this game unless there was some sort of update but we do have our carrot gun that's the new gun we had just unlocked from that last game and here's a little trap door a little hidden room so we got our hot dog stand plus our carrot gun so here's the blue team I'm just punching that guy he's chasing me down so I'm gonna shoot him Boom. Oh, we got him out of here. So I'm going to pick up this next power up. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, 20% battery. What's going on? I just need to get out of here. My game totally lagged hard. I'm getting wrecked. Just take me out of here. Take me out of here. No. That 20% battery got me. Now, there's Saucy Fashionista. That's the person who eliminated me. So I need to get up top. My team is holding their own right now and defending this. I think I distracted the whole enemy team for quite some time. But here we are. We're back up top. Now, there are more maps in this. I don't know why I got the same map twice in a row. That really doesn't usually happen. It gives me a pretty good variety from my experience playing this. But it's cool. We got the same map. Oh, I'm the cactus now. Like I said, this is the best power up. So blue team currently has it. And with this cactus, you just run into people and totally wipe them out. It is amazing. So that's gone. Now we got our hot dog launcher and we're about halfway to winning this match right now. Thing about the hot dog launcher too is it has 15 shots available. So you can just sit there spamming this thing over and over again. So I eliminated that person. Oh, here's another cat. We'll eliminate them. 
And yeah, I think we're gonna win this game as well. If there's one thing I wish this game had, it would be like a little kill feed so I can see which players I actually defeat and who my teammates do. But since it is a team game mode, uh, it doesn't really go over that until the end of the game. So it's not a huge big deal, but overall, I think this game is pretty damn awesome. It's pretty nice just to like, play, kick back, and play casually. So just any second now, we should be winning our second game. I'm gonna come up here, just get another power up real quickly. We got the fist, so let's use that wipe. Oh my god, I just went straight into the blue team. So I need to get out of there because I'm very weak and none of my teammates are there to help me out. So let's get one more of these. We got two fists in total, so I'm just gonna use these. Oh, I wasted that one. We're going to use this one. Go straight into all of those guys. Okay, we need to clear them off. Uh, 10 seconds to go for my team, and we do win this. So I got our little carrot shooter back. Luckily, my team cleared them all off. And with that, with that being said, I think we're going to win our second game. So there's a nice little victory. Team Purple won. So my record is currently 2-0 on my phone. But as I said, I have played on my iPad before. And unfortunately, I was not the MVP. It was the Rowdy Brawler. But maybe next time we can do well. And here's our little free chest. It showcases this at the end of every match as well. And this is how you actually unlock some new rewards. So here we got the fish barrel. Let's go see what that looks like. So again, you just come to customize your character and you find whatever you got. So here it is, the fish barrel barrel now we are going to be wrapping up today's video here i just wanted to give you a little showcase on what this game was all about but for episode two in the series we are going to continue unlocking more stuff playing more of this brawl mode getting more wins and to try and fully max out our brawler again big shout out to lego for sponsoring today's video it is exclusively on the ios arcade so if you would like to download it just go to the description below and click the very first link again big shout out to lego but guys this has been eclipse Thank you for watching and peace out.